we are now joined by members of the Tarleton State Texans basketball team. In the center of our podium is head coach Misty Wilson. On the far side, we have Katie Webster. Katie is a junior forward from Rockwall. And to coach's right, we have McKinley Bostat. McKinley is a junior guard from Kennedale. And coach, first, your thoughts. I know upset's not the word to use when you come to a conference tournament, but you were the, the lower seed. And um, controlled the game. Um, yeah, I just thought we came out with a lot of intensity, a lot of energy, uh, both ends of the floor. Uh, the players executed the game plan probably just about to perfection, um, and you know, offensively and defensively. And uh, you know, when, when players come out and do that, um, usually good things happen because coaches know everything, right? <laughs> you were pretty efficient offensively, but uh, defensively, you held Angelo State below 40% from the field. I know two quarters they hit 50%, but the fourth quarter when it really matters, four of 16, just 25%. Yeah, I just thought we did a good job of kind of keeping them off balance, switching up our defenses and, um, you know, kind of keeping them out of a rhythm. And, uh, you know, I think that really helped in them not getting settled and, um, you know, finding the open open looks that they um, tend to find. I mean, they, they're tough to guard. They've got so many so many big bodies and so much quickness and athleticism that um, we, we were just trying to do whatever we could to keep them off balance. McKinley, you have 19 points, seven rebounds, seven of 10 from the floor. That's that's awfully efficient. Tell us about your game, what you were anticipating and how it played out. Um, really, I don't. I just go into the game and try and play as hard as I can and uh, look for my teammates. My teammates did a really good job. Mac had six assists and I think that says a lot about who Mac is and it just was a team effort. Katie, 15 points, six boards. Between you and McKinley, you had uh, 13 rebounds between you. That's that's pretty strong. Talk about the play inside. Uh, well, like McKinley said, I would say it's definitely a team effort, but uh, offensively and defensively, just having McKinley down there and <clears throat> Mac as well, I mean, just having to get all the boards down there. And for the other people, Mac is McKenzie Haley. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Questions <laughs> for the Texans. Coach, uh, his ball movement, or the, especially his ball movement, able to turn the ball over like five times the first three quarters. It seems like y'all are moving the ball a lot faster than you normally did. How key is that? Um, absolutely crucial. Um, it's something that we've been we've been preaching for a while and uh, been very very diligent in practice and um, making sure we reverse the ball and move the ball. And um, again, the players did a great job in executing. with six assists. I mean, I mean, that's a close player leading the game in assists. How, how big is it when she's able to get the ball back out to someone who spots on her? Uh, I think it's huge. Um, Matt can obviously score, but you know today she did really well. Um, I mean, she still scored a lot. But uh, with her assist and having that big girl on her, like she found us down low, too. And it's huge. I mean, without Mac, we wouldn't have you know scored those other ones, too. I think it was really good. I mean, we held them to a low percentage. And uh, I think once we start going on defense, our offense comes a lot better. And we, we're just able to feed off of each other. Coach, is it deeper arenas? Is it tournament games? What, what is it that the locks coach? You know, I know they weren't even here last year. Didn't even want it. But. Right. Um, no, I think it's just the, the tournament feel. You know, the Lone Star Conference does a great job of putting it on. I mean, it's in, you know, Allen last year, Frisco this year. I mean, great venue. And, uh, you know, players are, players get excited about playing. I know I know, I get excited about coaching in, the, in, in this tournament every year. And um, and it's just that time of year where you're, you're playing for your life. And I think our players understand that. And, and they go out and they play like they're playing for their life. Now you move into the championship game in a rematch with West Texas. Let's get each of your thoughts on that. Coach, you can start. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it'll be good to have a rematch because the last one wasn't pretty. Um, and, uh, you know, I know our players, um, you know, would like to redo that one as well. And, um, and so uh, looking forward to that. And uh, I know our players will be more prepared uh, for the intensity. And, and, you know, West Texas is is the top. And, you know, we've, we've got to find a way to uh, be more consistent and, and to be able to play at their level. And, and you do that by, by learning and, and experience and playing against them. So I know we learned a lot from that last, last go around. And um, you know, we'll try to make those changes in, in the short time we have. Katie, we'll go to you now. You, you come to a program, no doubt, wanting to play for championships. And now you're in that position. <laughs> I'm looking at the whole table. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, yes. Well, first, we're really excited to get our redemption tomorrow. And I think uh, coming off of this game, it's going to be great. But, uh, I mean, yeah, it's cool to play in a championship game and be really fun. Hopefully we can do it again like last year. Katie, your thoughts? I'm ready. I want to play. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Any more questions for the Texans? All right, ladies, congratulations. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you.